Hi everyone, it's good to be together again. Today I want to talk about being angry. <laughs> I wonder what causes you to feel angry. And I wonder how you feel when people around you are angry. I know it can be scary to be around people who are angry. And it's okay to be angry, but it's important to know how to handle our anger. So I have a story I want to share with you. It's called the Magic Word Book. So one day, a boy named Alex had a very hard day at school. He was sitting on the classroom carpet, lining up some of the farm animals from the smallest to the biggest, when somebody accidentally knocked all of his animals over. Alex was so angry. He opened up his mouth and he took a deep breath and just as he was about to scream, ah, the teacher said, Alex, where are your words? What words? Alex asked. Have you lost all of your words? The teacher asked again. I don't know what you're talking about, said Alex. The teacher reached into his pocket and pulled out a book. Here, Alex, this book is full of magic words. Alex opened the book and on the first page were two words, please don't. On the second page were two more words, thank you. And on the third page, there was one whole sentence. I will tell the teacher if you don't stop. Now, the rest of the book was empty. The teacher said, the next time you feel angry, use your magic words instead of yelling or hurting others. The empty pages are for you to think up magic words of your own. Well, for a while, Alex carried his magic word book around and he used them whenever he felt angry. He even added some magic words of his own to the back of the book. But after a while, Alex got so good at using his magic words that he gave his book away to a friend. What a great story. It is okay to feel angry. And sometimes when someone does something that hurts our feelings or our bodies, we get angry. We need to use our words when we're angry, but not in a mean way. But I wonder if we can use our anger for good. I know, doesn't that sound weird? Many things happen because people put their anger to work for good. Many people got angry at seeing animals on the street with no food or protection, and so they created places for them to be. Some people got angry that there was no clean water in small villages and it was causing people to get sick. So they built clean water pumps. And some people a long time ago got angry that children had to work instead of going to school to learn and they helped to pass laws that protected children. Well, I think those are all good ways to use our anger. And I wonder how it feels to know that God hears our prayers and accepts and loves us with all of our feelings. Now, I want you to listen to a song by my friend Richard. It's a good song to listen to when you're angry. It's a song about God's love forever. And then I'll rejoin you for a craft. Trying so hard to cover it up Avoiding the truth Pretending to be strong Turns out God can cover it all There's no need to hide When everything's gone wrong Come and begin again Come and begin again Unfaith in love forgives it all Unfaith in love a brand new start
confessing our need Forgiven together Come and begin again Come and begin again Unfailing love forgives it all Unfailing love, a brand new start No matter what, we trust in God's unfailing Choking me, then I heard the words of his love Come and start over Come and begin again well, Come and begin again Unfailing love forgives it all Unfailing love, a brand new start No matter what, we trust in God's Unfailing love forgives it all I hope you enjoyed the song by my friend Richard. Did you hear in the song some ways that God can help us when we feel angry? About forgiveness, a new start, unfailing love, all wonderful ways that God cares about us. You know, it is okay to feel angry, but it's not okay to hurt anybody when we're feeling angry. Do you remember some of the magic words in Alex's book? Can you remember? Please and don't. Thank you. And I will tell the teacher if you don't stop. Well, Alex sure seemed better after he learned to use the magic words. So let's make a magic book like the teacher did for Alex. So we're going to start off with just one piece of paper. And all I'm going to do is fold it in half. It doesn't matter if you do it long ways or the other way. And then fold in half again. All right. All right. So we end up like this. And then I actually fold it one more time. So I just fold in half and half and half and half. All right, now there's some folds. We have to get rid of some of the folds. So I do use a pair of scissors and you may need help with that. So I'm gonna cut these because I wanna keep one fold, All right? I wanna keep the folds. Whoops, let's see if this is right here. Like this, because we're gonna put these together like that. And then this one looks like I need to do cut this fold. So let me cut this fold. So I have long strips. So I'm going to put all my long strips together and you can cut them. You can make your book however you want. And then I just took a stapler and put a staple in the end. And you may not want to, and that's up to you. And then I wrote on here the magic words. So now my book is full it's empty right now, but it can be full of your magic words. You don't have to use the ones that Alex used. Use whatever words help you when you get angry. All right, my friend, let us pray. God, we wonder if you get angry when people are not treated with love and kindness. Thank you for loving us when we feel angry. Please forgive us when we do or say hurtful things when we are angry. When we are angry, please help us take time to talk to you and to breathe in your spirit. Please help us to calm down and use our anger for good in peaceful ways. Amen.